Alrighty everyone, so I have the Titan on the table. We're just getting fired up for the day here. And we're going to go at it strong. So, I think my battery is part of the problem why I'm not getting the larger discharge. I think he has taken some abuse. <laughs> and anyways, in this arrangement so far, the way he is, I can get about two amps. So, I think I've decided, I've been sitting here thinking about it. I'm going to rip this all down today. We're going to reconfigure Titan Transformer to put through massive, massive power levels. We don't care what he takes on the input. Okay, well we do to a degree, but we're going to let him pound it through. So I was thinking I will remove interruption circuit. Because that's kind of bottlenecking it. Again, this is not like the self-running designs. And about the self-running design, I feel like an idiot yesterday. <laughs> Just take a look what that say. Load here, source here. When I discovered what I did, because I was looking for a meter that had clips on it, because only some of them have clips on them, well, I grabbed one and the clips were on the wrong way. So I hooked the meter up backwards. <laughs> and then he reads zero watt. <laughs> So after I discover that, I run around and check all the other boards. I'm like, oh my God, did I hook them all up backwards? <laughs> They're all not running on nothing? Nah, just this one. <laughs> and he does run on nothing. He does run on zero watts, this device, as he is. But to achieve that, you must be around 11 to 12 volt low current, obviously. Okay, so he does pump... Uh, I was dumping one amp at zero watt uh, at the boat. I'm not sure the voltage because I didn't have the voltage meter hooked up. But uh, at least 12 watts because he was 12 volts at the very minimum uh, from nothing. So it's still some sort of an achievement. But um, anyways, <laughs> these will read the power going both ways. It don't matter what way it is. It's just uh, the one way he won't count when he's flowing backward but so I've seen and I only discovered that yesterday when I hooked the fucker up backwards anyways what I'm going to do today is we're going to remove the interruption because he is bottlenecking it to make it consume less power I'm thinking that if I took the Titan transformer at on power just with the breaker set the buck turn them on if I put you know thousand watts or 500 watt halogen on the buck set him to that where he is producing good wattage and good brightness um, then we could probably hook up the autonomous dumper here is what I'm getting at and the Titan will provide tremendous power for the dumper so we should see uh, very easily 40 amps from this device at whatever voltage we're dumping at. Um, now, 150 volts, 40 amps, which is 210 volt dumping, under load is about 150 volts, 40 amps, 50 microfarad capacitor. I want to achieve those results, and I know after all the tests in the last two days on the dumper that uh, he was originally configured properly because the inventor made a video of him wired the exact same fucking way. And he is performing exactly as he presented it. So that led me to the conclusion that my last device was not, it was bottlenecked too much to allow the 300 watt, 250 watts he requires to perform in that manner. So we take the Titan because this thing, oh, this thing piss fire, man. <laughs> I dumped 40 kilowatts, one pulse nanosecond, bang. He filled 40 kilowatts, less than a split second. I barely touched the button, caps be full. And then because the inverter's lazy, he's got to monitor and monitor and monitor and then decide to engage. He engage, but this transformer filled those caps so fucking fast that when he engaged, he blew all the shit to hell. <laughs> and I end up with an over full LTO, 
one pulse. Mm -hmm. 25 amp hour battery, okay? So, and that was achieved by this transformer. Not in this exact design because I backed the turnings down, the ratio down so he wouldn't, you know, overfill the cap so fast. <laughs> so basically, we're gonna let this run some wattage, hundreds of watts, and we are going to rectify it like he is, and then we are going to go into a domper. Now we could do this domper. I may try this domper. Definitely going to eliminate this. Now I could leave that there and for the people that have devices with this there, if you put some thought into it, you could put some diodes, right? You could collect the collapse that happens from the short wires and the MOSFET in the power system that is leading up to the switch there will be an inductive kickback because of the, all the stray inductance and, and whatnot in the wires. So we will get a gain there. If there was a blocking capacitor somewhere in the system here, I put the uh, uh, energy trap there too, uh, just in case. But I, I really want to eliminate the dump, the interruption part because we will allow more throughput through and we will run that dumper system at very high power levels. And that's what we want, because the more watts you put on the input, the more amps and watts you receive on the output. Your gain of amplification is, is more determined by the amount of wattage going in. Watch, I put the last uh, dumper system, self-running, I put 75 watts in. I get 2.5 amps, 2.7 was the highest, out on my secondary coil, on the primary of the secondary coil at 150 volt, 2.5 amp, 150 volt, at 400, 500 watt, I put in 70 watt, okay. So on my friend's dumping system, the inventor of the dumper, he puts in 300 watts. His output is over five kilowatts. There's a ratio there on the amount of energy entering the system versus the amount of energy exiting the system in this manner. So, and then the domping, we're not even taking into consideration the frequency of the domping. I have seen frequency as high as one kilohertz in the last design with those dumpers. And what, 22 uh, microfarads to 24 microfarads. So, I know with 50 microfarads at 300 watts, dumping is about 200 and some hertz. Now, uh, that can all be changed. And we are going to play with that today when I rip this piece of shit apart. And like I said, if you've got it the way it is, your best results will be found on very low duty cycle. Uh, discharge duty cycle, very low. And uh, maybe about 10, or 10 to 15% duty cycle and supply. And again, that all depends on your buck settings, okay? Right now, this buck converter is set at 15 volt, way too many amp. So uh, because of that, I'm going to remove the top board. We're going to hook up halogen, set him for a good working value, maybe 300, 350 watt on the halogen. And then we're going to rectify it. We're going to take the dumper off. We're just going to put a switch, so turn them on and He's going to instantly fill cap and bang, 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 all autonomous. No fancy, fancy. Now, a lot more can be achieved with this setup that has been shown here. And this has not hardly been talked about. This is a really good setup because he pulses the transformer. Transformer goes into resonance, fills the capacitor. Transformer shuts off. Not gate comes on, dumps the conserved energy. That's how this part works. That is fabulous design. But right now, I want dumping. I want to see 40, 50 amps, 150 volts on the primary of something. And if we can achieve that, then we are in great shape. It would be nothing to just take a Titan that has already been purchased by somebody, purchase a dumper and put the shit on it when I'm done with this. And you're going to have a lot, a lot of power. Okay. That's it for now. We're going to get to work.